Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very very exciting video of simultaneous equation or system of equations where we are going to solve x power 5 plus y power 5 equal to 33 and second equation is x plus y equal to 3. While solving this question, I will use algebraic identities, manipulation, quadratic equation, quadratic formula and we will conclude our results. So let's get started by writing equations 1 and 2. Now, I am going to write the expansion of x plus y whole power 5. As you can see, x power 5 and y power 5 is there. So, x plus y whole power 5. Now, there are many ways possible. Pascal triangle we have seen. This time, I am going to use binomial expansion method. So, how it will be? The power of first term will be in the descending order the power of second term will be in the ascending order and after that we have to use 5c0 like this ncr so that general formation or the general formula formulation of that is n factorial over r factorial n minus r factorial you can use pascal triangle also so i will write descending power of first so x power 5 ascending power of second term, second variable y plus 5c1 x power 4 y plus 5c2 x power 3 y square 5c3 x power 2 y cube 5c4 x y4 and lastly we are having 5 c 5 y power 5 now values using this standard formula we will find out 5 c 0 5 c 1 5 c 2 and 5 c 5 so let me write here 5 c 0 5 factorial over 0 factorial times 5 factorial that value will be 1 which will be equal to 5c5 same thing ncr ncn minus r both values are same similarly 5c1 equal to 5c4 that value would be 5 and one last value is 5c2 and 5c3 that is 5 factorial over 2 factorial into 3 factorial so that value would be 10 you can check any time now i am going to put the values so expansion finally will become x power 5 plus 5 x power 4 y plus 10 x power 3 y 2 plus 10 x power 2 y 3 plus 5 x y 4 and last term would be y power 5 because 5 c 5 is 1 now LHS because of x plus y equal to 3 so left hand side is 3 power 5 ok now I am going to collect x power 5 and y power 5 because of first equation so I will write 3 power 5 is 243. X power 5 and Y power 5 if you will add 33. So let me write directly 33 here. Now what is left? 5X power 4. 5XY power 4. So I am going to take 5XY common. What would be left in the bracket? X cube plus Y cube. Now multiple 10 term is there so 10 times what we can take common see 10 terms are these two terms so i will take 10 x square y square common so in bracket we will have x plus y okay now 243 minus 33 210 this 33 will go there and it will minus with 243 so 210 5 xy 
Now a q minus b q identity I am going to write, which is a q plus a q plus b q is a plus b in second parenthesis a square. So I will write x square plus y square minus x y. Okay, this term is over plus ten times x square y square x plus y. Now I am going to put the value because we can see x plus y equal to three. So let's put the value here. I will put three. Here I will put three. And rest we will try to make x plus y. So 210 is equal to. Let me write this would be 15 xy. In bracket we'll have x square. Plus y square minus x y, and last term would be 10 times 3, 30 x square y square. Now you can see easily x square plus y square is there. So I am going to write in place of x square plus y square. Shall we write x plus y whole square and minus 2 x y? Because of x square plus y square, so let me write minus 3 xy. Rest is as it is. 210 equal to 15 xy plus 30 x square y square. Okay. Again, I will put x plus y equal to 3. This one. So it will become 3 square is 9. So I will write 210. Equal to 15 xy in bracket 9 minus 3 xy plus 30 x square y square. Let's open this bracket. So I will get 210 plus. Before that we can divide by 5. 15 times 9, so 135 xy. Okay. Minus 15 times 3, so 45 x square y square plus 30 x square y square. Now I will divide this equation by 5 first. After simplification, we will get equation 14 is equal to 9 x y minus x square y square. Take all the terms to left, so x square. Y square minus 9xy plus 14 equal to zero. Now this is quadratic in xy. Okay, so I will find out xy. Let me apply apply quadratic formula. So a is one, b is minus nine, c is 14 minus b nine plus minus square root b square 81 minus 4ac so 56. 14 times 4. Is 56 over 2. Now 81 minus 56, 25. So let me write 9 plus minus square root 25 over 2. I will get 9 plus minus 5 over 2. I will get 9 plus 5 over 2. 9 minus 5 over 2. 14 over 2, 7. And 9 minus 5 is 4 over 2, 2. So we are having x y seven and two or two. So now we are going to find out x and y. Okay, how it will be? I am going to consider the equation x plus y. This one, x plus y equal to three, and x y equal to seven and two, one by one. So let me consider x plus y equal to three, x y equal to seven. Here. And in this side, I will write x plus y equal to three, x y equal to two. So from this equation, I can write y is equal to seven over x. From this equation, now I am going to put over there. So it will be x plus seven over x equal to three. Multiply by x. X square plus seven equal to three x. 
x square minus 3x plus 7 equal to 0. Okay. So, x is equal to 3 plus minus 9 minus 28. So, complex root. Because of this value is, see, 9 minus 28 is coming out negative. So, square root negative. That means complex solution. So, we will reject this. Reject it. Now, come to the second set of equation. This one. From second equation, I can write y equal to 2 over x. Now, I am going to substitute here. So, x plus 2 over x equal to 3. Multiply by x. x square plus 2 equal to 3x. Take all the term to left. x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Again, I can write directly. Factorization is simply easily visible. So, if you want to write direct or you can apply quadratic formula. Let me apply quadratic formula. Minus b plus minus b square 9 minus 8 over 2. 3 plus minus 1 over 2. 2, 3 plus 1 over 2, 4 over 2, 2. 3 minus 1, 2 over 2, 1. So, x is 2 and 1. Then y will be, if x is 2, then y will be 1. Because summation is 3. Summation of x and y is 3. And if x is 1, then y must be 2. So, here we are having two sets. Let me write. If I am writing x, comma y like that, ordered pair, then I can write 1, comma 2 or 2, comma 1. Now, let us verify this value, whether it is true or not. So, let me write here verification. Let me consider x, comma y, 1, comma 2. Okay. So, I am, I am going to put over here. So, x is 1. So, 1 power 5 plus 2 power 5. Is this equal to 33? Yes, because it is 1 plus 30. Correct. Second equation, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. That will also correct. Now, 2 comma 1 equation is symmetry. So, it is always true. So, our final answer becomes x equal to 1 then y2. If x is equal to 2, then y is 1. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck.